Hi there, welcome back to Tutorials Point. Today we are going to learn about the fourth type of synovial joint that is the saddle joint. We have already studied about the hinge joint, pivot joint, ellipsoid joint. Today we are going to learn about the saddle joint. Now, as we know, saddle joint is a part of a synovial joint which is the most movable joint among all the joints. Now, first of all let's learn why this saddle joint is called as the saddle joint. The meaning of saddle is a seat which is present on a horse. If you will see, the back of the horse is in this shape and on this a seat is fixed. Actually our saddle joint is almost looks like this saddle seat. That is why it is called as the saddle joint. Let's see. Here you can see this lower bone is like the bone or the back of the horse and the upper part doesn't it look like the saddle seat of the horse. That is why this joint is called as the saddle joint. Now this saddle joint is almost looks like and function it functions like a condyle joint but here flexibility is more and here interlocking is more. In the condylite it's the connection is in upper layer but in saddle the connection is interlocked. Another very important thing about this saddle joint is that it is also like a hinge joint because one is concave other one is convex in shape and also like a ball and socket joint but neither it is hinge type neither it is ball and socket it is between both of them and interlocking is very perfect in this type of joint the example of this saddle joint is the thumb can you feel it this is the best example of the saddle joint let's see more here you can see this connection is showing the saddle joint. One is concave, another is convex and at the same time one is like the horse back and other is like the saddle seat. So in this video we have learned why a saddle joint is called as the saddle joint and how this saddle joint makes our thumb very movable. I hope you like this video. Thank you. Tutorialspoint.com Simply easy learning.